On May 1st, you will decide what school you will be attending next fall. In the meantime, you should be comparing your options by reviewing your financial aid packages. These come in the form of award letters and include information about an institution's cost of attendance and financial aid being offered to you. There are a few key things to look for on an award letter, such as the source and type of award, terms of enrollment, and total award offer, but they may all look a bit different and this can make it difficult to make side-by-side -side comparisons. To assist with that process, the Illinois Student Assistance Commission has a free online award letter comparison tool. This tool allows you to enter information from up to three institutions to see a side-by-side -side comparison of their award letter information. To use this, you can visit the ISAC student portal at studentportal.isac.org slash synaid. In the first section, you will enter the school's name along with the cost of attendance. The cost of attendance is broken down by different key components that usually include tuition and fees, room and board, books and supplies, transportation expenses, and miscellaneous or other personal expenses. You will also need to enter your expected family contribution. This is the number generated by the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, that determines how much you and your family can afford to contribute for one academic year. On the next section, the system will automatically calculate your financial need by taking the cost of attendance and subtracting your expected family contribution. You should then enter information about the financial aid that is being offered to you. In the first part, you will enter information about gift aid, which refers to financial aid that generally does not have to be repaid, such as grants and scholarships. The comparison tool includes sections for federal student aid, such as the Pell Grant and the Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant, or FSCOG, and state aid, such as the Monetary Award Program, or MAP, and any other Illinois grants or scholarships. There's also a section for institutional grants and scholarships. This is money that is being offered by the school. In the third and final section, you will enter information about any self-help aid being offered. This includes federal work study and student loans. Student loans are broken down into individual sections based on the type of loan. Once all this information has been entered, you must click Add School to add this to your list. Remember, you can add it to three schools at a time. Once all three schools have been added, you will see a side-by-side -side comparison of the school's cost of attendance and financial aid offers. The system will also calculate the out-of-pocket expense for each of the institutions by taking the cost of attendance and subtracting the financial aid offered. An out-of-pocket expense will be your responsibility to pay if you choose to attend that institution. Additionally, the system will also give you an estimated amount of student loan debt for four years. This is an estimated amount of the loans you will need to take out to attend that school for four years, assuming you borrow the same amount each year. Once you have the side-by-side -side comparison, there are a few things you should consider, such as the ratio of gift aid to self-help aid. Generally, packages with more grants and scholarships will be more appealing. Remember that gift aid generally does not have to be repaid. Compare the types of loans. You should familiarize yourself with the different loan options available. Generally, subsidized loans will be more appealing because the federal government will pay the interest on your behalf while you are enrolled in school at least half time and during certain authorized periods of deferment. If there is a financial aid gap, you should think about ways in which you could cover that gap. Is it an affordable option for you? Find out if your financial aid awards are renewable. Think beyond the first year of college. If those awards are not renewable, how will you cover that gap the following years? If you have other scholarships, make sure they appear on your financial aid award letter. If they do not, contact the financial aid office to follow up. We hope you find this tool useful and will provide you with the information necessary to find the school that is the right financial fit for you and your family. 
You can find additional resources at studentportal.isac.org, or if you have any questions, you can contact us at 800-899-4722.